Hello, my name is Christopher Boone. I was a graduate from ASU in 2004 in computer systems engineer. Currently, I work for Arizona Public Service, which is APS. One thing I learned when I was a freshman, and I didn't really understood as a freshman, was I needed to learn how to learn. And it's one concept that seems really hard to understand, but it's really when you learn, when you get through your class, classes, it's actually one very good skill to have because throughout your years, you're going to have to learn how to learn. You're, you're not going to keep one set of skills. You're going to keep implementing, learning new different skills to add on to what you're doing. So all your classes are beginning classes that's teaching you how to learn different things so that when you have a new task that these base techno skills are actually going to be used for later on so you can learn more stuff. And the biggest advantage I had as a, being a freshman is I actually listened to upperclassmen. There's a lot of upperclassmen that you can talk to or are willing to help you out and they gave me a lot of knowledge of what classes to take, what professors to take, um, what do I need to do to get internships, what I needed to do to, be net, to network out. And one of the biggest ways to network is to actually get involved in organizations. Organization helps you network, helps you get to meet different people, upperclassmen, um, people in the field of what you're working on, which helps you in your whole life. If it wasn't, I joined a few organizations. Each one of these organizations actually helped me and accomplished me getting a job. I got a job because I was networking. I got um, helped in all my classes. Whenever I got stuck, I just went to some upperclassmen. They gave me some guidance, what I needed to do to do well in my classes. So. I got an internship when I was a freshman after my, senior, after my freshman year. I actually worked at Honeywell doing programming, doing a basic programming. It was a way new experience because I never knew what it was like to be a programmer. And my first experience of being programming was after my very freshman year. And actually, the reason why I got that job was through networking and meeting different people. And then my junior year, I actually got to do another internship with IBM. Actually, I did a co-op with IBM where I took the whole fall semester off, worked down in Tucson and got to get a lot of hands-on experience, got to see what the culture is like, got to meet different people, and it was a very great experience to help me out. Also meet your professors. Get to know your professors right away because they actually are not, they seem very scared to talk to at first, but are actually really, um, a lot of my men are more down to earth. They actually willing to help you out. I'm, getting your projects done. They don't want you to fail, they actually want you to succeed. So if you actually go up to their office, get to meet them, you actually get to learn a lot from them and also it will help you in your coursework, see what, what you need to do on your test, what you need to do on your homework. And it's just it's one of the greatest things that most freshmen don't do. One of the biggest things I had learned was techno writing. I did a lot of it at ASU and it's one thing I didn't think I wanted to go to programming, I wanted to do engineering because I don't like writing. But as I learned out, it's one of the biggest skills that you're going to still need to do in engineering because you still need to explain what you're working on to someone else and you need the ability to write it and take that writing and present it to someone else so they can just based off of your techno paper, read it and understand what you're doing. Basically, they like to hand off the paper off to somebody so that they can take what you wrote and reproduce it or have an understanding so they continue the project without you even being there. It's a very important skill. I want to improve, expand my d degree more. I, I learned one aspect of programming, I want to take more knowledge of different other aspects of programming and make me more rounded so that I'm still learning, I'm keeping up with what's going on today and I just really want to take what I learn and keep learning more and nonstop.